get their answer this week. There is plenty, though, that believe the Timberwolves are headed in the right direction. So we thought we'd bring in an expert on winning it all. Trent Tucker back in studio. Thanks, Trent, for stopping by. I appreciate it. Sorry for being 40 feet higher than you. That's OK. It's very you, rare. Jim. It's always good to see you as well, you know? All right. The Wolves making some big changes this week. Tim Tonley coming in and they steal one of the better personnel men in the NBA. They paid for it there, 50 million and equity in the team for four years. So is this the right guy to give the keys to the franchise to? You know, Jim, anytime you have new ownership, they're always looking for ways to make the team better. It was a playoff team this past season. And so, and when, and when you have new guys who think, hey, what can we do to further ourselves as a playoff team, you look for big name people in the front office. Also, now they go out and get Tim Conley from the Denver Nuggets, and they believe now it's their time to take the next step. Do you like what Conley has done with Denver? Because everybody's comparing comparing him to that and saying that he's got the Nuggets on the verge. Did you like what he did there? Oh, for sure. Because Denver right now is a perennial playoff team. They have one of the best players in the game, and uh, Nikola Jokic. Uh, they had some injuries this year that kind of set them back, but you can see the ground that he was able to lay with the Denver Nuggets to put them on the path to be a contending playoff team year in and year out. All right, so you're fine with giving them an equity in the team? <laughs> that, that's kind of <laughs> interesting, isn't it? <laughs> no doubt about it. But when you believe that there's a guy out there that can come in and make you better, well, then you have to do everything possible to get him. Well, they certainly did that. All right. <laughs> the question now is what happens with Coach Finch? He just signed an extension here, so you'd think he'd be set. And he's worked under Conley in Denver for one year as an assistant. But the handling of the Wolves in the playoffs had some questioning whether he's ready to take the team to the next step. How do you think Conley looks at that? Well, it's a young team. It's a new team. And also, you have a young coach in that position for the first time. You know, pressures there, making decisions, making decisions coming down the stretch can be very difficult for any new coach. I thought he did a very, a very good job of keeping this team where they were, gave them a chance to make their playoffs. He has to grow as a young team grows as well to, st to see what he can do when playoffs again rolls around. All right. So you looked at what did you like best about how he handled this group? Do you think that was the best part that he was able to get them all to pull for each other? Something we don't see very often with the Timberwolves? You know, Jim, that's the most important team thing when you're trying to pull a young team together. You know, when you're young and you're talented and you have an all-star player here or there, you know, some guys believe that when things are not going well, I can step up and get the job done by myself. He was teaching team basketball, and especially when you're coming down the stretch, playing the tough Western Conference, and you're trying to secure that playoff spot, you need all guys on the same page. All right, so are you a Chris Finch fan? I like Chris Finch. I like what he has done. I think he will continue to grow as a head coach. He must continue to grow as a head coach to make sure that if his team is a playoff team, once again, he can put his team in the right position to win playoff games. Yeah, and protect a 21-point lead, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that'll be a, a key step in, in the development. All right, now there's some personnel decisions that Conley will have to work with, and number one is Carl Anthony Towns. Now, by making an all-NBA team for the third time, he now qualifies for what they call a super max contract. You wish they had those when you no, were no around, right? Matter. Right. <laughs> Two hundred and eleven million dollars. Uh, do the Wolves make this deal this off summer with Cat? I would wait. You know, some people might think I'm crazy, but I would wait. You know, to see you know what he can do with this team going forward. I know he's a all-star type player, all NBA type player. He has two more years left on this deal. If you're a new guy coming in. There's no need to rush, you know, take your time, figure out what you have, and then make your plan from there. All right. How does Cat take that news? Well, I mean, he may not, <laughs> he, he may not take it kindly, <laughs> you, you know, but he understands where, he's, where he is at this stage. You know, he has two more years to, to continue to show what kind of player he can be and to see if he can continue to lead this team into a playoff run. All right. You know Cat, you've seen him, we've seen the faults that pop up once in a while. Um, where do you think he is at? Is he ready to become a member of the elite of the NBA or is that not attainable for him? Well, the other things you and I just talked about, that's where coaching comes into play. 
You know, when you have a young guy who certain nights he makes some, some bad mistakes on the floor that you wouldn't think a guy of his stature should make, that's where coaching comes into play. Sit him down, talk about the things that he needs to grow as a player to help this team to become better and to make sure when we're in these moments, especially in close ball games, to end the season the right way, to have a chance to make a strong playoff run. We need you on the floor and we need for you to make good decisions. All right, and then one other decision. Well, there's plenty out there, but D'Angelo Russell seems to be grabbing a lot of headlines right now. I think he has one year left on his deal. As the point guard, he's been fantastic some nights, and then in the playoffs, as you said, it's a whole different animal. He got exposed a, a little bit, if you want to go that hard with it. Um, what do you do with Russell? Is he a guy that you give an extension to, or do you look somewhere else? You know, I would go back to what I stated before. I think I'm a new guy coming in. You know, most guys who take up a business, they say, hey, give me 90 to 120 days to see <laughs> right. what my staff looks like before I make a decision. You know, the new guy, Tim Conley, comes in now. He may have six or seven months. There's no need to rush. The team is in a good place as it is right now. Make your evaluation as you go along to see what you need to add or subtract. All right, that sounds uh, like a good plan. I like that, Chet. That is why we have you here, Chet. All right, straight ahead, though, we've got more questions for him, including the transition of ownership well underway. Mark Glory, Alex Rodriguez taking over. Are they truly the right men to lead the Wolves into the future? And welcome back to Fox 9 Sports Now. World champion Trent Tucker. Kind of stay with us. You don't have the ring tonight, though. No, I have it locked away. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there, well, there's some surly people here at Fox 9. That's a smart thing. Uh, the Wolves are in the midst of a transition of ownership. Glenn Taylor, who saved the Wolves from going to New Orleans, now is in the process of changing it over to Mark Lurie and Alex Rodriguez. They've been very visible as new owners, and I think they have a pretty good hand on what's going on with the team. Have you liked what you've heard and saw from these two? Oh, for sure. You know, they bring a, a different element to the game for sure. They're all about entertainment. They want to make sure that the team is moving in the right way. You know, they're going to bring in some big name people if they can to see if they can continue to move this team in, in the right direction. And when you look at the transition of ownership, you want to make sure that the guys understand exactly what they're doing. They know how to bring in the right people to make everything fit you know, to give this community a great team to look at for multiple years to come. What do you see Alex Rodriguez's real position here? Because he's not the money man. Mark Lurie is the guy with the cash. What's what's A-Rod's mission in this? What can he bring to this organization? You know, he brings a huge face to this. You know, you're talking about a Hall of Fame baseball player, a guy who played for the New York Yankees. And when you play with an organization, an organization like that, all of a sudden now you have visibility. and. How do you attract free agents to come you know, to your team? You have to have someone they can identify with. Alex Rodriguez is a big time guy. He has great visibility. He will be good for the Wolves. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. All right, now to the NBA.